In Moscow, Prime Minister Modi calls Russia India's all-weather friend, trusted ally and hails Putin's leadership. He has now arrived in Vienna from Moscow. During this trip, the two nations will explore ways to further deepen their bilateral relationship and closer cooperation on the many geopolitical challenges. The world's most formidable military alliance began a three-day meeting in Washington, D.C., ostensibly to strengthen partnership on its 75th anniversary and pledge greater support to Ukraine in its war with Russia. At the same time, all eyes are on the host, U.S. President Joe Biden, whose re-election bid is in jeopardy on the growing perception that he is aging rapidly. Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is in China to attract investments. She signed 16 MOUs at a trade summit in Beijing on Tuesday, and Sheikh Hasina will meet Xi Jinping today before concluding her trip. British lawmakers were sworn in as Parliament convened for the first time since British Prime Minister Keir Starmer won a large majority in last week's election. As per custom, the longest-serving lawmaker, Sir Edward Lay, was sworn in as the so-called father of the House, followed by Prime Minister Keir Starmer, members of his new cabinet and the shadow cabinet. Senior White House advisors for more than a year have aggressively stage-managed U.S. President Biden's schedule, movements and personal interactions as they sought to minimize signs of how age has taken a toll on the oldest president in U.S. history. As Biden's stumbles become increasingly obvious, the White House fights back against doubts on Biden's mental fitness.